welcome back to Godfall. Now all the things you see happening down in the lower right there is me having uh, used the forge and gotten rid of quite a few items that I don't think we need because of my realization that things are leveled when it comes to equipment. So we're down to having few items but items that we want to have and that gave me some dragon steel so uh, level one requirement uh, gives us 46 physical dps i don't know if um, we'll probably get a better weapon than this later on if we upgrade this it takes one dragon steel. But I'm not sure if it's worth it, considering it's a low level. We also unlocked augments now that we are level 12. I should have a look at that as well. This one is only level 3. Upgrading it requires only electrum, so there is no reason not to do that. And Sunsteel, we have plenty of that, but I'm not using Incarnate Essences. This one only requires Electrum, so it can be upgraded. Some Sunsteel can be upgraded. Not upgrading past that. Should upgrade these a couple of times as well. But they are rather low level, being level 4. And the lifestone is level 6. I'm gonna leave it at that. Maybe we'll find a better longsword. I'm not sure I want to use the dragon steel right now. Uh, then let's have a look at the augments. We can equip one. Drain five. I don't know how much power the armor has. This gives us 35 might. This one would be rather good for uh, Phoenix. That one is not necessary. I think we'll take that. This node will unlock at level 20. Vitality is still the highest, so the ring is still worth it. This one. Now let's head down and face Zamora. The old uh, the other things that we have gotten to, we can go hunt Phalanxar, Phalanxar, the High Lord. If we wish to face him again, now is our chance. Four Earth Sigils. One rare weapon. No, we'll go take Zamora. Probably going to show us that Sunsteel for a goodly amount of time because I deconstructed many things. It's time. You must face Zamora. I'm ready. Before long, I'll know how to break the rites of ascension. We're getting closer, Oren. Agreed. Then let's begin. I like that voice actor. And then we have to talk to Xenon. This place seems to suit you. That's better than a Vargul prison camp. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Xenon. This is all I have. My friend, you misunderstand. This is the most luxury I've had since the war started. I only regret that I couldn't help you when you fought your brother. It was meant to be. Macros and I have a destiny. 
We must complete it together. In the end, it will only be him and me. Then we have to go back and talk to Seventh Sanctum. And then we get to go meet our first true boss. Zamora the Far Seeing is the first of your brother's lieutenant so that we will battle. Enter her lair and take her down. We get a skill point, five Valor Plate cores, and five Dragon Steel, and 40 Infused Jasper. Here we are. Macros tried to kill me. He failed. Hello. But you're weaker than you were. Let's find out. So how many attempts will this take me, I wonder? I do hope we get some health here. Now that we got the best defense, rank 1 achieved. We're on our second health bar. Okay, I guess I need to destroy these. Ow. Necessary. Okay, we need to heal. I get that as well, should that give me yes. you fiend Ugh. what a waste 
Oh, we've got a weapon, legendary. But all the things we got, I believe, are things that I don't particularly need. Not that I'm unhappy, don't get me wrong. Before we talk to Xenon, let's see what we got there. Got the uh, Esol's Cobalt Great Mall. And we got the Mountain Born Breaker. Too bad they have Warhammers. In rings, we got a Ring of the First Sword. And we got Mesa's Banderole. 18% critical hit chance, 42% critical hit damage. That's not bad. That's pretty nice, actually. We also got a skill point. Recovery. Yes, please. Well done, Oren. Zamora was one of your brother's top lieutenants. He knows you're coming for him now. It doesn't matter whether he knows I'm back or not. Nothing will stop me. Get ready, Oren. Things are about to get a lot harder for you. Good. Strength is forged in adversity. Spoken like a true warrior. You will get stronger each time you defeat one of Macros' elite warriors. Plus, they all carry items imbued with your brother's power that we can use. <laughs> you godsmiths work some strange magic. We are dedicated to our craft. Indeed. Unlock skill. What do you mean unlock skill? You've absorbed Tamora's Ethereum. Yes, I have. It had to go somewhere. I couldn't just disperse it. I'm sure it will be helpful later. You sound... different. Something's happening. The Ethereum... It's difficult to hold so much. Something's wrong. Will there be a problem? No. It is time to enter the Water Realm, where you will face giant aquatic beasts. The Abyssian Host and Lunara the guardian avatar of the Silver Moon. Go to the central tower and ascend. Okay. I wonder if these doors up here, do they lead anywhere we can go yet? That one doesn't. That one doesn't. That one should lead to the training chamber. Yep. Well... Let's uh, head on down to the Crimson Glades and ascend to the Water Realm. Use the Central Tower to get to the Water Realm. You will have to overcome many trials within the tower. I'm ready. Of course. We'll grab that before we go into the tower. Ah, 
Nice music. Bye. Prepare yourself, Arn. The Tower of Trials awaits. Hello to you as well. Sometimes the dodge doesn't really work as I want it to. If I can just run over here and grab these, please. Okay, then we are in a very pretty courtyard where we apparently have to soul shuttle five enemies. It's one of these. I don't need that many of you. Five enemies so shattered. And double up. Return to the central tower. Okay, so I guess we have to go out another door. Macros is training his thoughts on you now. He thinks only of himself. And his enemies. Mm -hmm.
Next door. And we get one of these timer things. Let's see here. That wasn't so bad. I feel that I uh, did rather well there. Back to the tower. I don't think there's anything of interest here. No. Yeah, let's let's close the door. That's a great idea, Orin. Comments from Sanctum. The Black Tide. Those are Macros' personal soldiers. These are new. aware of our existence and coming for us? Probably yes. by the Abyssian host. Be warned, Orin. The creatures in this realm will be out for blood. Your blood. Fighting is a warrior's purpose. Is that any different from the place we were lost? Point me towards Lunara. Patience, Orin. You will have to overcome many ordeals before you can face that creature. Godspeed, Augment. And we got a new skill point. Macros has put up a barrier around Lunara's lair. Huh. He doesn't waste any time. I'll break the barrier. I just need to know where it's coming from. The power source is located in the Tormentor's Asylum. That sounds like a nice place. To be free. No one in the monolith is free. If this is captivity, I'll take it. Don't get comfortable. The hard part is yet to come. Of course. You can rely on me, Orin. Interesting dress that guy has. Lunara resides beneath the luminous shelter, but we can't get to her yet. 
Macros has placed an impenetrable barrier over the entire area. Before we can battle Lunara, we'll need to take it down. I've detected that something in a nearby stronghold, controlled by the monstrous Abyssians, is projecting this barrier. Infiltrate the Tormentor's Asylum and find a way to take down Macros's defensive barrier. As you say. So here we can go back and hunt these um, old bosses, but now we have the Tower of Trials. These trials pit you against many groups of enemies and bosses that drop treasure. Your goal is to ascend and reach the highest floor before being eliminated. Yeah, we've done that. Oh, we can do that again. Leviathan's Rest, Cobalt Caldera. I expect there to be tentacles down here. Maybe that is a tentacle. If it is, it is a very big one. Infiltrate the Tormentor's Asylum and bring down Macros' defensive barrier around the Luminous Shelter. There's one thing that I don't like, it's that the music just cuts off when it goes to the loading screen. these things. Side road like this. Oh, whistling tear. Okay, so these are the abyssians. They do not have tentacles, but they do remind me of something. Oh, I think I know what. Um, Click Mix in Star Wars? Is that their name? I don't remember. Although those were flying. And a journal entry? In the beginning. Okay, let's have a look at that then. Cosmera made the world when she devoured herself. The Archons were her dreams, and they dreamt hungrily of existence. There was nothing to satisfy the hunger but her own flesh. Cosmera ate of Cosmera. She shed blood of the serpent, the crystallized power of a void which we call Ethereum. The world clotted about around it, and existence coalesced like frost on glass. And from the ruins of Cosmera's body... The Archons stepped forth into existence. Hmm. Okay, so we have fully maxed out our recovery. Could get vitality. But I think I want to take Soul Shatter and get that to 5, even though this one is also relevant. Armory, we have a new pole arm, a new ring, a new amulet. That's a good amulet, but I don't know what the uh, rampage is yet. 70% weapon technique charge speed for 10 seconds whenever you parry an enemy. Yeah, I'm parrying. That is my speciality.
Okay, I run faster after I take out the shield. Crabs. They are quite pretty. So what's the deal with this teleporter? Well, there's a chest down there. There's something down there. Okay, it's very important to go on the correct side of the chest, clearly. I feel that I'm getting mixed into something that I'm not supposed to. This looks like one of those shield things. Yeah, I think this is a place we're supposed to go much later, so let's go back. Sorry for those little tiny crawlers. that Vargul sorcerer petrified. Oh, it's a statue. But apparently we get a bonus for destroying those. Plate core. That blue thing up there indicates that there's a chest here somewhere. another one. Where is the... Okay, so I'm guessing it's up there. Yep, there it is. Pick item. Mesa's Bandero. Couldn't we get a like a, a longsword, you know? I'd like that. 
I haven't seen any more of those any more of those statues yet though. Hello. So, in case I have a penchant, a soul shatter kill is when you have the uh, the white outline around their hit points, and you, if that is full, as in all of their remaining hit points are in that outline, you can do a heavy attack, and they, well, you've seen it, they shatter. convinced well that's where we came from and we've been there wow that tower really is impressive so I guess we have to go down here very much so now now we're talking tentacles And shatter. Came down there. There's something over there and something up there. Not sure if we can get up to that thing. Oh, we want to get up to that thing. That's a codex entry. Should be as simple as just walking up here. Yep. Firstborn of the Archons, okay. We Valorians were their first design. All twelve Archons collaborated to craft us forms that they would also eventually use. They gifted us the first suits of Valor Plate, holy armor for the champions of the gods, each as precious as it is powerful. We were the first to know death and the first to show courage in its face. Thus, we were named Valorians. We had always believed they made us in their image, but they had instead made themselves too well in ours. That's pretty Pretentious. Because apparently we're not supposed to go up there. Oh, we are. Uh, there's some crabs over here. This is going to places where we uh, don't need to go yet. 
I wonder where the rest of those statues are, though. Would be nice to complete the bonus objectives. But I think that we will cut off the uh, episode here and continue in the next one so that this one doesn't get too long because I expect that this is going to continue for at least 15-20 uh, more minutes. So for now, thank you all so much for joining me and I will be seeing you all in the next episode.